When your heart isn't working properly, neither are you. We don't always know something's wrong with the heart until it's too late. Someone experiences a heart attack every 40 seconds in the US. What's worrying is most victims haven't recognised early telltale signs. We're going to find out about five never-to-be-ignored signs in just a heartbeat, because when caught early, we can prevent, cure and even reverse heart disorders. Before we start, please subscribe to Heart Disease Code. We're your one-stop channel for optimal heart health. Support us with a quick like and ring that bell for future posts. Finally, stay young at heart with our free gift. You'll find out how to claim it later on. Time to meet the first sign. Sign 5, fatigue. Fatigue is a non-specific symptom. In fact, it's one of the top complaints in any doctor's office. So how do we know when fatigue is caused by the heart? When the heart can't pump enough blood around the body, fatigue doesn't come and go. You feel tired all the time. A mid-afternoon nap won't make you feel much better. Exercise re-energises and wakes up some people. But if your heart isn't working properly, you'll just feel exhausted. Fatigue caused by sleep apnea is linked to a weak heart. Sleep apnea means you stop breathing for a few seconds when asleep. The Sleep Foundation tells us sleep apnea increases the risk of heart failure by 140% and the risk of coronary heart disease by 30%. Plus you are up to four times more likely to develop an abnormal heart rhythm. Sleep apnea treatment significantly lowers all these risks and we know why. People with sleep apnea have low stroke volume and cardiac output measurements. Stroke volume is the amount of blood pumped out the left ventricle at every beat. To find the cardiac output, multiply the stroke volume by heartbeats per minute. Our brains compensate for low stroke volumes. The brain tells the heart to speed up. A faster heart rate increases cardiac output. But with sleep apnea, the brain doesn't instruct the heart. Cardiac output stays low. The body doesn't get enough oxygen and easily tires out. Treat sleep apnea and amazingly the stroke volume increases. The brain once again tells the heart how often to beat. Sleep apnea and heart health are intertwined. Of course, when you feel tired all the time, it's not always the heart's fault. But if you experience fatigue together with our other signs, maybe your heart is the heart of the matter. Sign 4. Nausea. Women are more likely to report nausea as a heart-related symptom than men. Even so, feeling sick and constant fatigue are telling signals. But are there differences when nausea is caused by eating habits, anxiety or heart problems? Early satiety, a full and bloated feeling throughout the day, can result from heart problems. There isn't enough oxygen to provide the energy to digest food. Organs like the kidneys and brain take priority when it comes to oxygen supply. So food stays in the digestive tract for longer. Early satiety causes loss of appetite, nausea and heartburn and all three of these signs can accompany heart disorders. Sign 3. Upper body discomfort. We purposely omitted chest pain from our list. We all know chest pain is associated with cardiac arrest but even in the middle of a heart attack chest pain doesn't have to be sharp or painful or even in the chest. Those heart attack scenes we see on TV and in the movies are very misleading. The following signs have all been reported by people during a heart attack. Dull pain in the left elbow, aching jawline, mid-back pain, pressure in the chest, tight feeling when breathing, stabbing pain in the chest, burning sensation along the arm, difficulty swallowing. Rather than focus on massive chest pain, think upper body discomfort because the signs of a sick heart aren't always so clear-cut. Upper body discomfort isn't limited to a full-on heart attack either. Any condition with blood flow restriction can cause it. You might experience this discomfort if you have heart valve disease, arrhythmia, coronary artery disease, atherosclerosis, cardiomyopathy, pericardial disease, heart failure. If this has made your heart jump into your throat, relax at least a little. A study of emergency rooms found only 6% of patients with chest pain as a primary symptom had heart issues. 
Even so, chest, arm, back or jaw sensations, especially during physical activity, need medical advice. The fourth sign is often ignored and brushed aside, especially when the weather is warm. Before we find out what it is, how about that free gift? We're really excited to offer you free access to our ebook, The Surprising Truth About Fat and Cholesterol. Plus, you'll get to view the first episode of The Untold Story of Heart Disease. Both book and video get deep into the heart of heart health. Discover how heart disease myths have evolved. Find out what the latest research is telling us about the right cardiovascular diet. We guarantee you'll learn something new. Remember we said the next symptom is often blamed on the weather? We're talking about sign 2, edema. Have you ever walked long distances and noticed your ring or watch getting tighter? Or do your shoes feel too small after a summer day on the beach? These types of edema are rarely anything to worry about. But heart-related edema is. Heart-related edema is a symptom of congestive heart failure. The heart hasn't failed, but isn't working properly. The number one cause of congestive heart failure is coronary artery disease. Coronary artery disease stops the heart muscle getting enough oxygen and nutrients. So how does a damaged heart cause fluid retention? When the hollow heart muscles can't fill properly, blood backs up into the veins and capillaries. The higher pressure pushes fluid from the blood and into the surrounding tissue. Under the knees is the area most affected by heart-related edema. That's because gravity and distance from the heart plays a role. Fatigue, upper body discomfort, nausea and edema. Four reasons to make an appointment with your doctor as soon as possible. Heart-related edema also increases pressure in the lungs. And that's the cause of shocking sign number one. Sign one, pink foamy mucus. Coughing up pink foamy mucus is a frightening symptom. It's called hemoptysis because that pink tint is diluted blood. Hemoptysis combined with other symptoms point very strongly to an improperly working heart. Two specific heart disorders cause hemoptysis, congestive heart disease and mitral stenosis. Congestive heart disease prevents efficient heart filling and emptying. When lung blood vessels can't shunt oxygenated blood to a badly filling heart, they expand. Higher pressure inside these blood vessels pushes fluid into the surrounding tissues, just like in the lower limbs. But this time, the lungs swell. We call this pulmonary edema. The smallest blood vessels burst or leak red blood cells when under pressure. We cough up blood. Mitral stenosis is the thickening of the mitral valve. This valve separates the left atrium from the left ventricle. The left atrium receives oxygenated blood from the lungs. It pushes this blood through the mitral valve and into the left ventricle. The left ventricle pumps it to the rest of the body via the aorta. A narrow mitral valve causes high pressure in the lung blood vessels and a lower oxygen supply. One report describes a mitral stenosis patient who coughed up half a litre of blood in 48 hours. There's a happy end to that story. After valve replacement surgery to repair, this patient fully recovered. His heart-related symptoms of fatigue and nausea also disappeared. It's easy to tell the difference between infectious and heart-related hemoptysis. Infected sputum is thick and greenish in colour. Heart-related hemoptysis is thin, pink and foam-like because there's no infection at first. If you have this symptom, it's definitely time to see a medical professional. Treatment can slow the development heart disease and in some cases reverse it. Always listen to your heart. We hope you found this short video interesting and informative. We'd love to hear about your own heart-related symptoms or experiences. Much more importantly, share them with other Heart Disease Code viewers. You could save a life. Don't forget your free gift and please find it in your heart to give us a like. Have a hearty, healthy day.